Uh, I had an inkling. I also turned to Sam Pullman, who I was playing at the time, and said, oh, my knee really hurts. And she said, I think you've done your knee. Right. I'm ready to go for the room when you guys are, so yeah. I might need to get changed. Yeah, so, right. that's fine. You kind of know, like, and also doing medical science as well as my degree, when they um, did the ACL test on me, I, yeah, I felt it and I kind of knew initially that I'd done it. And then I went into a lot of shock and I looked over at the bench and Tanya and Kathy were like, cool time, cool time. And I was like, me? Like, me cool time? And I was like, yes, like, get off. And then um, Sam ended up having to call a time for me and had to flag the umpire down. My family helped me from the start. I think when I initially did it, my parents were at the game and they obviously came with me to the scan. And when Duncan gave me the news, I went into a bit of shock and they absorbed all the information for me and just kept relaying over the week. All right, Sasha, we're on video. Hang on, don't take your hands off. There was times when I thought, no, I, I just have to give netball away. I can't do this rehab. I can't keep going to training and feeling this way. But you have people around you, your loved ones, just lean on those people that you love the most and they'll help you through it. You're not alone. And to know that an ACL is so structured, the process is day by day, so you don't have to rush and yeah, you'll get back on that court one day. So when I'd had my injuries in the past, it was very unknown as to where I was going to get back and also mental health. It's, there's no time frame on mental health as well. So I think doing my knee, I was actually in a really good position. And I think I probably worried myself within the first couple of weeks of how I was going to handle the rehab and how I was going to handle surgery. But again, I've got a really good support staff here at the Thunderbirds and the girls have been great. And my family as well have been instrumental in my rehab. So yeah, my mental health is really good and I think probably looking forward now. I'm just so excited to get out there and train with the girls and yeah, be a part of the team and just get out on court whenever that is. I think it was a week after I had done my knee and I had kind of been in that slump where I was like, why me? You know, I'm going through another rehab process again. I've never had an off season. I was really struggling and then my dad gave me this purple journal. Every day I want you to write how you feel. It doesn't have to be anything massive, it could just be this sucks, I hated today, or you know, like milestones. He's like, I think it would be great for you to be able to record what you're doing. And so every day I've been writing a little bit with me, and yeah, I think it'll be great for me to be able to look back in a year's time. And if anything is bad, I'm having a bad day, I'll look now and I'll be like, wow, what a great reflection to have. Um, I think I needed something for myself away from netball. I obviously have my university and I've almost finished my studies, but the guitar was always something that was sitting there. I bought it and I was like, oh, I know how to strum a few strings, but when I did my knee, I was like, nah, that's it. I'm gonna teach myself. I'm gonna have a bit of fun. I can sing a little bit. So I've yeah, had a bit of fun with that for almost a year now and have really enjoyed being able to do that as a bit of a recovery and a bit of time away from netball. I think I've said it from the start and I spoke to my family a lot about it. I think I came into a different approach this season when Layla came and I don't think I would have stepped out on court if it wasn't for Layla. Um, obviously she's a senior athlete as well and she's been through a knee rehab previously and then obviously now her Achilles but she's such a strong presence in our team and obviously in our leadership group but she's just such a genuine person and every day checking in how are you babe how's it going how's your knee feel and being able to have someone next to you at training and being able to step out on court together I've just loved every minute of being able to absorb information from her and getting to do the rehab process together. Uh, I think it was a few weeks ago we had a structure planned out and 
we'd written out a return to play and it was you'll play this amount of games in Premier League and if you're feeling well then you'll travel up to Queensland. So I think it was kind of the nod when we got the call to come up to Queensland that we both knew, Layla and I, that there was a potential that we would get in the 12 and it was uh, two days before the game she was like, you're in the 12 and how do you feel about it? I just said, I'm so ready, Tanya. I'm ready to do it for her, I'm ready to do it for my team and also just for myself and my family. Well, standing in the sub box, as you can see, just back of screen there, another piece of good news about to take place, and that's Sasha Glasgow. So, recovering from an ACL injury back in round 13 of 2019 against the Giants. The whole game day when I woke up was the, wow, I'm actually playing today. It's not just match play anymore on a Thursday afternoon. It's, um, yeah, it's real time, so... For me, I was really excited, really nervous, um, but it was crazy. I think once I stepped on the court, it's like this switch flicked and I was like, I have a job to do, not just for me, but for my team. So, yeah, I think they brought me out of my shell a bit more and being able to sink my first shot, I took a big breath and I was just so happy to be out there. It's been a long process, but yeah, just so grateful to be able to get the opportunity. Now, welcome back. Sasha, terrific to have her back in. Glasgow's first shot back, Liz Ellis, and it's a Suncorp super shot. What a great confidence booster. Probably just my love for the sport definitely motivated me. The Pink Army is amazing, I don't think, just for my rehab, but also just through my journey as a netballer anyway. They've helped me shape kind of what I want to be as a netballer, and being a role model for them has been really important. So having their support has been a lot for me, and I've made some of my best friends playing netball, and I love playing on the court with them. I love representing the Pink, and I love representing Adelaide so that's a massive thing for me to help me get on court and also I'm living my mum's dream at the moment playing netball so I wanted to do it for her and also just do it for myself.